All right, now this character, according to the script, has a black eye. So what I'm going to do here is take this purple color, um, go back to my soft brush, but now I'm setting it to multiply. And what I'm going to do here is just add in a little bit of bruising with that. The multiply darkens. It also saturates it a little bit, which is fine, because, uh, you know, when you have a black eye, it's kind of shiny and puffy. So there, and now I'm going to set my tool back to screen. Add a little form to this so it's not just a blob. And now she has a black eye. The bandage, I want to be basically uh, like her skin tone, like a real band-aid is, but a little bit lighter a little bit off, you know, so it doesn't quite match. And instead of using the color that I screened her skin tone with, I'm just going to use it, the Band-Aid's own color and uh, and give that some highlights here and there for form. And this isn't going to have a sharp highlight like the nose is, just because it's going to it's a little bit looser and it's a little rounder. Go in here with the lips. I want to make her lips look like they have lipstick on it, which means they're going to have a, a bit of a sheen to them, a little bit glossy. So I pick my color that I'm going to screen with. Now I set my f tools flowed back to 100, use a smaller brush, and I'm going to add some hot highlights first. Now what that's going to do is give me that high gloss sort of a look that I'm looking for. And then I'm going to lower my flow and go with a little bit of a bigger brush and feather everything out. So that now instead of just that one like hot highlight there, it actually, you know, it's it's following some some sort of form. And add my little uh, reflected light back in there. And that's that's the lips. Now for the eyes and teeth, I actually don't want to go with gray. I want to maybe shift those a little more towards purple, purplish, lavender, something like that. And I feel that that gives them a little more uh, life, you know, maybe if everything's not quite so gray and dirty looking. Now this here is the highlight um, in her eye. This is light reflecting so that's just going to be pure white. For her eyes I'm going to take the, my base color, screen that just a little bit, give them some shape, and that's her eyes. Now for her cloak, um, I picture this being something like cotton. Um, if it were latex or leather or something, then I would want those real harsh highlights on that. But for this, I want it to look a little bit softer. So I'm going to start with my soft brush on this too. And just give everything a little bit of form. Hit these wrinkles. Um, and I don't want to think of these wrinkles as each being its own, uh, you know, entity independent from the rest of of the material, which a lot of new colorists tend to do with muscles and stuff like that. Each muscle is like its own sphere. Um, each wrinkle is its own thing. But this is all part of of one piece, and these wrinkles are all basically radiating out from this one point. Um, you know, in the hood somewhere. So I don't want, uh, like I said, I don't want each one f kind of fighting against each other. They all need to be their own, their own element, but at the same time, a piece of something bigger. So once I have a little bit of the form that I want, I will go back in with that harder um, edged brush and just give it a little bit more definition. You know, the feathered 
Uh, the really feathered airbrush tool is nice for kind of building things, but ultimately it's really uh, soft. A little too soft for my for my liking. So you need something to help it. You can also some people like to airbrush and then go back in with some cuts with the lasso tool and add definition that way. Uh, for me, I just prefer to to build do it all with with brushes and yeah, no lasso tool. Same thing here. I'm gonna add a little bit of a shadow. The light's coming this way, so I'm gonna assume that her head is actually casting a shadow onto her body. And then I'm again I'm gonna go with the bluish color here and just add a little bit of reflected light just to give give her some little bit more depth. 